Gotta head over to Hawaii for this one. There's a woman making the news out there after what she did to her ex-boyfriend and another woman at his house. We're gonna get into who this woman is and the details, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. And if you're watching from Hawaii, drop Hawaii below in the comments. I wanna hear from you. The incident took place in the former sugar plantation town. That's the current census designating place known as Wapahu, which is a part of the Honolulu metropolitan area. A 31-year-old woman from Hawaii dated her boyfriend for two years before their relationship came to an end. Three days later, Irene went over to the man's house. His name wasn't released, but he's 33 years old. It was July 9th, 2022 at approximately 7.30 a.m when she entered his house and saw her ex-boyfriend sleeping in the bedroom with another woman. That was a new woman. Irene was so upset, she was unable to control her rage. Then she hurried into the kitchen and picked up two kitchen knives. Sensing the presence of another person in the house, her ex-boyfriend, he woke up, and that's when they got into an argument. While Irene was busy arguing with her ex-boyfriend, his new lover, who's a 25-year-old woman, her name was not released, she stood up and intervened in the fight, but she wasn't successful. In the blink of an eye, Irene, she then raised one of the weapons, forcefully came at him, cutting his head and his arm. The man was instantly injured with a bunch of blood coming out and then he fell unconscious. So after putting her ex-boyfriend down, Irene then turned her attention over to the new girlfriend. She ended up overpowering the woman and then stabbing her multiple times as well leaving the woman unconscious. Seeing that she committed a crime, she knew she was wrong. Irene ran out the house to the street and then took off in a gray Honda Odyssey. The police already alerted and on the way to the scene. The 33-year-old man and 25-year-old woman was then rushed to a nearby hospital by EMS personnel in severe condition. But luckily, after receiving immediate medical attention, they managed to escape the other side and was expected to make a full recovery. The new girlfriend left with multiple lacerations on her body, even more than the man. And then shortly after fleeing the crime scene, Irene was captured by the police. According to a neighbor who happened to overhear everything, said that he heard when Irene was arguing with the new couple. He later saw her standing on the porch, looking up the street while holding a knife and yelling. When Irene's ex-boyfriend became conscious, he told police that he had been in an intimate relationship with her for two years and they did not have any children together. Responding officers from the Honolulu Police Department, they reported that they found two large knives at the crime scene that looked to be covered in blood. It's also been verified that there is no record of violence between Irene and her ex-boyfriend. Irene had no previous criminal record, but she had previously taken out a restraining order against two other men in 2016 and 2018. In those cases, Irene told the court that she needed protection from those men. And now with the details of this situation coming out, by any chance could it be possible that Irene also could have been an aggressor in the other two relationships as well? Perhaps maybe she should have had restraining orders placed on her too, instead of her being able to take it out on the others. We see that a lot around here as well. Aggressive, violent women who are never held accountable and they manage to put out frivolous claims on other people, misusing the law and weaponizing protection orders. Irene made her first court appearance on July 11th, around 8 a.m., where she stood accused of one count of attempted murder in the first degree and two counts of attempted murder in the second degree. The woman accused of stabbing a couple over the weekend has been charged with attempted murder. According to court documents, the man was in his bedroom when his ex-girlfriend entered and began stabbing him at a Waipahu home on Saturday. The man's current girlfriend was also stabbed. The victims taken to the hospital in serious condition. Court documents say the suspect, identified as Irene Guzman, was arrested about an hour later. She remains in custody on $750,000. Now, let's get into what Irene had to say. Here's the craziest part of the whole incident. Irene denied all allegations against her. She entered a not guilty plea and decided that she was going to take it to trial. RIP to the late Mr. Biggs, 
And I'm not talking about Ron Isley. If you're from Mobile, Alabama, Mississippi, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. Shout out to y'all. Irene's trial has been set for September 2022 and her bail was set at $750,000. It's safe to say that she's probably going to be stuck in there until trial, but it's looking like they moved pretty quick in Hawaii. They're not backed up down there at all. Her trial set in less than 60 days. So luckily for her ex and his female friend, they didn't lose their lives over this, but they almost did over a jealous, bitter woman who happened to have two active restraining orders on two other men, her boyfriends that she was in a relationship with before her most recent boyfriend. Irene, she's got a lot of issues. Since she was about 25 years old, she showed signs of toxic femininity. She was running down to the law, taking out orders of protection on her previous ex-boyfriends and proved with her behavior with this boyfriend that she could have possibly been the toxic one. That's why you have to do a thorough review on people when you meet them, women and men. If they're out here with a history of DV and a bunch of stories to tell you with different people, you have definitely got to dig into those situations because it can't always be the victim. Ask more probing questions. Determine if they have toxic traits. If they're initiating any of these altercations. You know, you could possibly save yourself from a bunch of drama and even save your life. When it comes to Irene, it's possible that she told her most recent boyfriend about those two ex-boyfriends. And who knows? She could have lied about whatever issues that she had going on with those men and blamed it all on them with her decision to request restraining orders. But when examining people, you don't just look at what they say, you look at their actions, and sometimes you have to read between the lines. Trust me, they're going to leave all sorts of clues. These days, when you're first meeting a woman, she's going to spend a lot of attention focusing on income, expenses, assets. She's trying to determine your net worth without you confirming or giving the information up. So she's trying to figure out what you do. That way, she's able to Google about how much you're making, how you're living. Men right away, especially in today's hookup culture, they're trying to figure out what time y'all going to bed. No real concern about if the lady is crazy. And then the woman, she's not really concerned either. Just as long as his income is sufficient, she's just about willing to accept anything. And this is how you have so many people getting together. And even if they're married, they're getting a divorce within the first two to five years because they really didn't do their research. They didn't do their their due diligence so they pick the wrong person let's go ahead and get the conversation started below irene said that she was not guilty what do you think could be her defense is she crazy or just another modern woman not wanting to take responsibility for what she did to her ex-boyfriend and this new woman i want to hear what you think so go ahead and sound off below don't forget that you can support this channel as well links to cash app and paypal are below Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective, then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.